Well, good evening. And first of all, let me begin by saying how honored I've been to be asked to be co-chairman of tonight's event by America Abroad Media. And I'm particularly honored to be here because we're going to present an award uh, to someone I admire greatly, Catherine Biglow, the director of Zero Dark Thirty and The Hurt Locker. And my only regret is I'm not able to be there in person to help present this award because I think Catherine's work has been one of the, one of the highlights of, of American culture over the past few years. I'm particularly interested in her most recent film, Zero Dark Thirty, because it uh, turns an uncompromising light on the agency and the people that I once led at the Central Intelligence Agency. Catherine, let me just point out from the, from the very beginning, me, people like me, the people I left behind at the agency are glad you made this movie. Now look, these were very difficult issues, but you handled life as, as realism. You handled life as complex. You went out and showed how difficult the work and how difficult the decisions were that had to be made in the hunt for Osama bin Laden. And you also gave the American people a chance to see that their intelligence services are actually pretty good at what they do. And that their intelligence services are made up of people just like them who share American values, but on whom we place great demands to show results. Now I know, Catherine, you were the, uh, the first woman to receive the award for best director. So it should come as no surprise to me that you also pointed out that it was indeed a CIA band of sisters that did most of the heavy lifting in the analytical work that led us to Abbottabad and the killing of Osama. Well, I could say a lot more. Uh, fundamentally, though, I just want to say thank you. And now I want to call on my, my good friend John Allen, General United States Marine Corps, retired. John was the head of Marine Forces in Anbar Province and later the head of American and International Forces in Afghanistan. John, let me turn the stage over to you.